All right, so today for my long run, it's gonna be a half marathon time trial. I'm just gonna go out and do the best that I can. Uh, the weather isn't great. It's not horrible at the moment, but we did get some rain and snow uh, in the evenings, you know, over, over the nighttime. So the pavement is pretty wet and it's still below freezing. So I'm just a little concerned about having some slick spots out there on the pavement. Uh, hopefully I'll come in right around that Oh, I don't know, seven 40 minute mile pace some, somewhere in that ballpark. So fingers crossed, um, I, but I don't want to fall. So I am wearing the Adios Pro 3 today rather than the Alpha Fly. And that's just because I found that the outsoles on these stick to that wet pavement just a little bit better. For fueling, I already took a Martin uh, Calf 100. And then I'm going to take with me a Huma straight up Huma and not, uh, it's, it's not gonna be the double electrolytes or, the, or caffeinated because this is a half marathon and I think I'm gonna have plenty of fuel uh, in the tank. But I'm also gonna take another Martin Gel 100 with me. So just the three for today for the half marathon, the one before the start and I'll take another one probably about four miles in and I'm, I'm thinking at this point that might be the Martin and then I'll save the Huma for the, for the last one. And that's kind of the strategy that I'm gonna to try to employ on race day, which is why I'm trying to in that order because Martin is sponsoring the Boston Marathon and they're gonna have Martin Gels available, both the CAF 100 and the Gel 100s. Uh, starting at around mile 11 or 12. So if I can get to that point, then I can take over. I, I won't have to be carrying or onboarding a lot of extra stuff with me because I'm already going to have an action camera, probably my cell phone, maybe my uh, wallet or something like that. Uh, so I'm going to have plenty. I'm going to be backpacking like a mule through this thing. So anything I can do to help reduce the weight and just empty my pockets is going to be a good thing. So I'll probably rely on the course uh, for the Martin Gels at the second half of the marathon. All right, I'm getting ready to go and get this in, see how we do. All right, let's do it. Well, the sun's out, at least temporarily, so that's a good sign. But the uh, concrete on my driveway does have a little bit of ice on it, so fingers crossed. Let's go get this done. Huh. So I completed the first mile going way too fast for me. I think it's like a 7, I don't know, 16, 7, 17. Huh. So I'm slowing down. See if I can't find a more sustainable pace. So a quick update, mile two, still too fast. I need to find my rhythm. Okay, so I settled in to about 7.35. I think that's where I wanna to try to stay if I can. We'll see how it goes. <clears throat> Awfully windy, going against the wind around a corner. I have to be careful for oncoming traffic. Just about four miles in. Roads are a little slushy on this side. Gonna have to slow it down a little. I don't wanna fall. That would be bad news. He does that every time I run by. My little running buddy, Air Bud running. Uh, beautiful dog. Uh, so I'm at the halfway mark. Yep. I took a Martin gel. Oh, right around four and a half miles in. So another couple miles, I'll take the Huma. And that'll pretty much be it for this half marathon. Here he is, out to greet me again. Hey, big fella. Oh, I think this is the most scenic part of the run. Get to cross the little bridge, 
a little bit of a river slash creek. Uh, just gorgeous. Check it out. Of course, it looks much better in the summer, but it's still awfully pretty. All right, let's get back at it. I think it's the hardest section just because the road is so chewed up uh, and on the way back I have to run through it again so it'll be four different times uh, yuck So I'm getting down to the last mile and a half. Feeling pretty good actually. I've had to cut back into the subdivision just because I know about how far it is to get home. So to get that extra half mile and get to make a third trip through here. Whew. Into the wind. Some pretty tight corners there. Oh, so the time trial is complete. I'm now in my cool down. Woohoo! I don't know. I was hoping for 7.30. No, I haven't really been keeping that close attention to it. I'm just trying to find a place that I was comfortable. So I'll be excited to get back, or anxious anyway, to see what, how it did turn out. Oh. All right, time to catch my breath. Oh. Now I had just a ton of fun. It was just so much fun out there running that half marathon time trial. And leading up to it, I was kind of questioning the wisdom of doing something like that at week 10 of a 16-week marathon training program. But after doing it, I learned a lot, so I'm glad that I did. Now, a couple of things that I took away from that. Number one is my pacing strategy is lousy right now, so I need to work on that because I came out way too fast. My legs felt pretty fresh because of the taper and because I was feeling pretty good. I was in the Adios Pro 3s. You know, I just I just came out a little too fast. And I also learned that on my watch, on my Garmin Phoenix 6, I needed to add the data field of my current pace as opposed to just having my average pace because that was throwing me off a little bit. Uh, at one point, I'd slowed down to about a 7.43 minute mile pace, but when I was looking at my watch, because it was just giving me my average, it was showing like 7.25. And in my mind, I'm thinking, oh boy, this 7.25 minute pile of pace, this mile pace feels pretty easy. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm crushing it. But in reality, I'd slowed down to about a 7.43 minute mile pace. So I, I really want to have my current average or my current pace on there as well as my average. The other thing that I took away from this is just my nutrition. And I think I'm gonna just stick with Martin for the entire marathon in Boston. You know, taking the, the Huma, it would have been my third gel because I took the Martin uh, Calf 100 right before I went out and started running. And then I took a, a gel 100 at about four and a half miles in. And then I took the Huma around nine miles, nine and a half miles, something like that. Uh, but I don't know. I, I think I just want to stay with one and not mix them up a little bit because initially part of the reason I wanted to change up is because the human isn't as, there isn't as much volume there. So you don't get overly full, but after taking the, or, you know, kind of experimenting and using the Martin gels now for a while, I think I've learned how best to take them for me. So what I do is I just, you know, once I open it, I don't rush the process. I just put a little bit in my cheek, basically kind of swish it around and then swallow it. And it takes me a little longer to get them down, but I don't have to slow down at all. It's not, it's, you know, so that's not an issue at all. And by just taking a little bit at a time, I'm not so overwhelmed by that, you know, bulk or that volume that the, that the gel brings. And I haven't had any kind of stomach upset. So they seem to be doing a good job. So that my takeaway from this is that I think at this point, I'm gonna stick with the Martin. But I've got a couple other practice runs coming up that are gonna be much more uh, marathon uh, type of uh, runs. So 
my long runs the next couple ones are going to be three hours in length so that's going to be much closer to marathon day <clears throat> so i'll be uh testing out the martin gels for both of those to see if it's something that i you know am going to indeed want to stick with so a couple good takeaways for me um, in total, it was an hour and 38 minutes and 3.5 seconds, so I'm not unhappy with that at all. And my overall average pace was a 729 minute mile. I think it's really going to help me to add my current pace range in on my data field for the future. Now, I will break down week 10 as I've done it in the past in its entirety, but I wanted to share with you the uh, half marathon time trial and the uh, GoPro footage that I took. So I used my GoPro Hero 9. You might recall from yesterday's video that I was just asking for some input back on the footage that I was getting from the different cameras that I was using. So today's footage was all GoPro Hero 9. Hey, thanks for making it to the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it for you. As always, run tall, run strong, be kind to one another. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time right here on Run Tall with Tim.